we opted to take a bit of what we learned from the 2021 show open and spend time and do a two minute cinematic prologue. This year's opening ceremony really focuses on narrative, something that we haven't really done in the past, featuring a character called the protagonist who is on a journey throughout the ceremony to ascend to the realm of the prose. We have multiple protagonists that represent the League of Legends player. It's not one person. It becomes every type of gender and representation that we could get from around the world. But the one that we start with and the one that we end with is Brandon. I'm super stoked to be here because I've been playing League of Legends since like, I've been like in eighth grade. I don't even feel like I have to act. He was an incredibly rare find for us because he not only brought the stunt ability that we desperately needed for the cinematic and for the live stage portion, but he is a true League of Legends player. Right now I'm Ezreal. Yeah, we should gone So sick. I've been nerding about it. I played a game of League, I got back on it when I got home yesterday. I played a game of League, Ezreal went like 15 and 1. It's always a blessing when you can feel someone's passion to be able to highlight someone who has loved the game for so long and is so passionate about bringing it to life. It just makes it all worth it. We picked yellow as the color for the protagonist so that we could always see them at any point on the stage or within the different landscapes that they're moving through. You'll see there's some little variations throughout that also tie each protagonist to the champion that they're representing and trying to learn how to wield that weapon. There are 12 Easter eggs hidden in the bedroom. These are little nods to past your championships. So keep a look out. It was a very stunt heavy day. We had Lorena fires fish bones and ends up getting knocked back into the windshield of the car. The audience can truly, I think, feel when something is kinetic and happened in camera. We transition from this shoot to the stage where we have our protagonist leap through this portal and then come crashing down, landing live on stage in Korea, surrounded by thousands of fans. This is our last day of shooting. The journey feels done in the sense that the shoot's over, but boy, have we just gotten started. 